Aha! Uh -huh. You fell right into my trap. I've got you now. Well, aren't you a clever one? Hello everybody! My name is Bloody Hell Vader, and welcome back to Spyro Knights. The Cataclysmic Confrontation event was released recently, and we're going to be farming a mob that is only available from this event. The Black Cat, which is a powered up version of the normal ghost cats that we normally see, also known as spook cats, that we would normally see every now and then in places within the arcade. Within places like Candlestick Keep, Scarlet Fortress, and other places like that. So how this is going to work is that we're going to be farming specific rank missions like Alone in the Dark and Weight of Darkness. Because they both start with Candlestick Keep, meaning that it'll be faster for us to farm black hats there. However, unlike Weight of Darkness, Alone in the Dark does have another level right after it that can have spook cats. To be more specific, what's going to happen is that we're going to have to look for places where spook cats normally spawn, and hope for a chance that a black cat spawns in their place. Alternatively, we could try the arcade, and see how well that we find black cats there, but the maps are always rotating. So it might be tedious to get a specific level that may have spook hats for us to farm. Thankfully for this event, we had a level at the arcade that had a candlestick keep, a ghost themed compound, and a couple scarlet fortress levels. Unfortunately, arcade gates change every now and then, so the one that I was farming is very likely not there anymore. And it's possible that it might come back during the next time the event comes, as you might not always get the same arcade gate each time. As the event only lasted a little over a week, we really had to put in some effort in order to go look for black cats, in order to get the special drop from them. So when you encounter a black cat, your first objective should be to wipe out the black cat first, if possible. Because they are aggressive, and once they notice you, they will try to spawn cursed zombies, and both the black cat and the zombies are able to give you the cursed status defect. So, you will want to deal with them to the best of your ability before they can land a curse on you. However, if you see a black cat and it hasn't either noticed you or hasn't been aggravated yet, then you should try to clear out the extra mobs around it if you can, like any non-black cats, any howlitzers, or anything else that might try to get in your way. Once you defeat the black cat, they will drop ancient pages, depending on the tier level death that the black hat was found on. In this case, we found the black hat on tier 3 death, so they'll be dropping 3 ancient pages, as well as a slim chance of the black cat dropping a book. Now what's so special about this book that we want it? The book in question is called the Book of Dark Rituals, which is an item that we use at the Moorcraft Manor in order to summon a special mini boss called Margaral. I've been told that Margaro can be a very dangerous and hard to fight mini boss, which does have some truth to it as I do have some experience fighting with Margaro, at least two times from several years ago. Now there is kind of another way to fight Margaro, where instead of having to farm black cats constantly, what you do instead is just wait around in Haven for someone to list an offer by zoning to everyone a slot in order to fight Margaral. Usually Spire Knights players will charge about 3000 to 4000 energy per Margaral slot. And unless you're either willing to farm enough crowns in order to get that much energy, or are willing to purchase energy from the supply depot or actual money. So unless you're willing to spend money in this game, you're gonna have to spend some time farming black cats like I am and hopefully they drop a book. The reason you might want to fight Margaral is because they drop both the Black Hat Cowl, which is a 5 star helmet, that is a great piece of equipment, because it has a low movement speed increase and a high damage bonus, which is very nice. 
Margo also drops a single crafting ingredient, which is called the Wicked Whisker, which is used to craft the Cat Raiments. And we need about six of them in order to craft a full Cat Raiment, which means six boss fights with Margo. The amount of work that goes into crafting the Cat Raiments are definitely worth working towards, because their stats and effects are favored by a lot of Spyro Knights players with the most popular one being the Black Cat Raiment, which also has a low movement speed increase and a high damage bonus. And you will usually be seeing other people using armor that you can get from the Cataclysmic Confrontation in Lockdown due to its very useful effects. Personally, I think it'd be nice to earn the Black Cat Cowl and make the Black Cat Raiment. But really, I just wanted to add another boss fight to the series. But we couldn't find a black cat that was willing to drop a book for us. Maybe the next time this event comes around, we'll just have to stockpile as much energy as we can possibly get for a chance to join a party in order to fight Margo and earn some Wicked Whiskers so that we can eventually make our own black cat raiment at a much later point. Aha! Uh -huh. You fell right into my trap! I've got you now! Well, aren't you a clever one? This mostly depends on luck, but sometimes you'll be stuck in a rut where you won't be finding any black cats spawning. No matter how many cows to keep runs, you do. For me, it got so bad that I managed to find a mew cat while there was a horrifying drought of black cats. Either that or I unknowingly wiped them all out. Either one's possible. No matter the case, Mew Cats themselves are quite rare, as they also happen to be docile, meaning they won't attack you. These other spook cats, on the other hand, need to be dealt with. While I deal with these other cats, I'll have you know that I actually did get the Book of Dark Rituals on my other Spire Knights account from several years ago. Yep, there it is. So yeah, new cats. They are adorable. I mean, just look at them. It even looks like it's rubbing its scent on me, as if it thinks that it's a real cat. Which usually means that it thinks of me as a friend. Mew Cat? Forgive me for this. Hey, we got some stuff from the Mew Cat! And we got a haunted aura. Oh, and we lost our Mewcat friend. I'm sad now. So anyways, we didn't find a Book of Dark Rituals during this Cataclysmic Confrontation, but maybe we will the next time the event comes around. But for now, I'll just wipe out this last black cat that I fought before the end of the event. We will get you next time, Book of Dark Rituals. Just you wait and see. If you enjoyed this series, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if possible, share this video. It would really help out the channel. And that's all I have to share with you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.